channel, Story on Friday, is made with some wonderful stories of Bengali literature. Today, Story on Friday presents you, another campaign of Satyajit Roy. This time Faluda's Weakest Mystery of, Faluda, series. Satyajit Roy, created two of the most famous fictional characters ever in Bengali children's literature. Faluda, a sleuth in Holmesian tradition, and, Professor Shanku, a genius scientist. Starting Faluda's Weakest Mystery Suddenly Faluda was captivated watching Sherlock Holmes on TV. He exclaimed. He's come straight out of the pages of the book. Holmes and Watson. You know, Topsa, there's much to learn and admire from Sherlock Holmes. All private detectives look up to Holmes as their guru. You know, Sherlock Holmes is a fictional character created by the English author Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who crafted his principal stories known worldwide. Jatayu said. Just think how many stories that man has written. I can't imagine how he manages so many plots. God knows how much money I've spent. Trying to find plots has given me a headache. Outside, it's raining, and it's lovely to have tea and snacks. Actually, Mr. Lomohan also wrote around 40 mystery novels, but most of them are a mishmash in Faluda's language, halfway between the simple and the complex. However, despite his critics, there's no lack of enthusiasm from the educated gentleman. And to be honest, since becoming friends with Faluda, his stories have improved a lot. Bro Topsa, please tell Srinath a bit, it would be nice to have another cup of tea. Said Mr. Lomohan. As soon as I have asked Srinath for the tea, someone knocked on the door. However, before that, I heard the sound of a taxi stopping. I opened the door, and saw a gentleman with an umbrella. Medium height, fair complexion, shaven beard and mustache, age nearly 40-45. I said, who do you want? Even if I hadn't asked this question, it would have been alright, because just by looking, I understood it was a client. Is this the house of Pradesh Mitra? Gentleman asked. This time, Faluda replied. Come inside. The gentleman closed his umbrella, and stepped inside. Leave it by the door. Said Faluda. The gentleman did so and then take a seat on one side of the sofa. Faluda introduced himself. My name is Pradosh Mitra, and this is my friend, Mr. Lomo Hanganguli. Well, at least I found you at home, the gentleman said. I couldn't get through on the phone. You know how it is this days. What seems to be the matter? Asked Faluda. I'll tell you. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Mahitash Roy. You might not recognize the name, although I have some reputation, in the theater world. You are with Apsara Theater, right? That's correct. I'm currently acting in Prafulla. Yes, I know. I have come to you because, I'm in a bit of a crisis. What crisis? For a few days now, I've receiving threatening letters. I can't say from whom. What? Threatening letters. I have brought some samples with me. Here, takes a look. The gentleman took four pieces of paper out of his pocket and placed them on the table. I saw that. One said, beware. Another said, your days are numbered. The third one read, reap the consequences of your misdeeds, and the fourth one said, you have no time left. Start praying. They were all written in large, bold letters. And there was no way to tell, if they were written by the same person. Did these come by mail? Faluda asked. Yes, they did. Over what period have you received this? Over the past seven days. Do you have any idea, who might be sending these? Not at all. 
Can you think of anyone, who might hold a grudge against you? Look, I work in theater. Minor squabbles and misunderstandings are quite common among us. I have been with Apsara for two years now. Before that, I was with Rupmanch. I was brought in to replace an actor, and naturally, he wasn't happy about it. He must have felt quite jealous. What is this actor's name? Jagannath Bhattacharya. He had started drinking heavily, so he couldn't be kept on. I don't know what he's doing or where he is now. Besides, Jagannath Bhattacharya, can you think of anyone else, who might hold a grudge against you? I have a younger brother, with whom I don't get along. He lives separately. When our father passed away, all the property came to me. My younger brother fell into bad company and got ruined, so my father left him out of the will. Naturally, he was very upset. Other than that, I can't think of anyone else who might be an enemy. Are you being cautious? I am, but could you offer some guidance? There's not much to advise other than being careful. Where do you live? Balagunj, at 5 Panditya Place. Do you live alone? Yes, I have one servant and a cook. I haven't married yet. To be honest, there's not much I can do in this situation. I've dealt with similar threatening cases before. The letters don't reveal anything. I see four letters here, each with a different postmark, so there's no telling where they came from. In most cases, nothing happens in the end. However, there's no doubt, someone is trying to unsettle you. I suggest you go to the police. They can handle these matters better. The gentleman seemed a bit disheartened, and said. The police? Why, do you have any complaints against the police? No, I don't. Then what are you waiting for? Go straight to the police station and report this. Tell them, what you told me. The gentleman reluctantly got up. Faluda, escorted him to the door. After returning, Faluda sat down and remarked. I noticed, a mark from a ring on the gentleman's right finger. I wonder where that ring has gone. Do you think, he sold it? Jatayu asked. I wouldn't be surprised. His shoes were also in pretty bad shape. I know, he is not playing the lead role in Prafula, that's being done by Apsara's star actor, Nepal Lahiri. But who do you think is behind this? I asked. How can I say? It could be one of the two people, he mentioned. The bottom line is that, I can't take this case. Often, these things turn out to be bluffs. I've received numerous threatening phone calls. If I took all of them seriously, I'd have to stay at home, paralyzed with fear. However, I realized that the matter of these letters was not a bluff, just three days later. End of part 1, next part will coming soon.